Good day. So let's evaluate this definite integral. And to do that, we are going to need to use substitution. And uh, in this case, I'm going to pick x squared plus 3 and use that as u. So u is equal to x squared plus 3. So then, of course, when we are doing integration by substitution, we need to derive both sides here. So I get du equals the derivative of x squared plus 3 is just going to be 2x. And we need to multiply that by the differential dx. Because we have differentiated with respect to x. <clears throat> Sorry. So um, what we're going to do now is that I will rewrite this. So I have the integral. And uh, I have x times u to the 4. And now there's the dx differential. What I'm going to do is, is that I need to replace that. I want a uh, the differ differential with the u instead. So I'm going to do this very mechanically. okay? And what I'll do is that it will essentially divide both sides by 2x here. So that's gone. And that shows us that dx is equal to du over 2x. So I'm going to basically replace the dx for the du over 2x. And in this case, we can actually just cancel out the x's. Look at that. So now we end up with just u to the power of 4 times du over 2. Okay? Now, something really, really important. Can I just put in a 0 here and a 2 there? No, I can't. And why is that? Because I switched, I went from x to u, okay? So let's, uh, we're going to have to change the limits accordingly. So the first limit was the 0. And when x is 0, u is equal to 3. 0 squared, 0 plus 3, 3. So I need to put a 3 here. And... For the second one, which is 2, we need to plug in a 2 for x, 2 squared plus 3, 4 plus 3 is 7. Look at that. So we need to change the limits once we do integration by substitution for a definite integral every time. So now let's, let's uh, go on here. And uh, what I'm going to need to do is that I will actually take out the 2 from inside the integral. After all, it's just a constant. It's, it's bugging me anyway. So what I'll, I'll just rewrite this, though, so that nobody is confused. I can essentially re have the whole thing as uh, u to the power of 4 times half du, and the half comes out. So I, I can have half times the integral. Okay? So I have u to the 4 du and at this point of course I will just um, take the integral if I will find an antiderivative of this and it will be u to the 5 over 5 right I just add a 1 up top and I divide it by the same number down below and uh, we have 3 and 7 so what I'll need to do is that I will plug in the 7 for you. And I will subtract the 3. And that shall give us the answer. So let me evaluate that with my graphing calculator here. And let me see what I'm going to have. I have to ask for your for your patience as I uh, as I plug this in to my calculator. I had already plugged it in before, but I just want to check to see if it's correct. Otherwise, that would be rather embarrassing. So here's the answer.
1656.4 and that's it I suggest that everyone practices this to make sure that you understand the transition here right we went uh, of these little limits that we had we we have to change them once we do integration by substitution so that's it